Stressed? Get some squishy fruit. Ooh, it's so satisfying. I love it. It's my favorite now. <laughs> Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. Watching Every Disney Movie Ever today, I'm going to talk about Bolt. Bolt is a 2008 animated theatrical release about a dog that believes his TV show is real and while trying to get back to his person, discovers the truth about himself. It is directed by Byron Howard and Chris Williams. Cinematography by Scott Beatty. Supervising animation done by Mark Anthony Austin. Lino DeSalvo, Renato Do Anjos, Clay Cadis, Mark Mitchell, and Wayne Unton. Editing by Tim Mertens. Music by John Powell, and it's written by Dan Fogelman and Chris Williams. The film stars John Travolta as Bolt, Miley Cyrus as Penny, Susie Essman as Mittens, and Mark Walton as Rhino. Chris Sanders and Dean Dubloy had started a project called American Dog, um, and it centered around a dog stranded in Nevada with a one-eyed cat and a radioactive rabbit? thinking he was still on TV. The dog thought he was still on TV. Um, when the Pixar merger happened, Lassiter and Catmull gave creative notes specifically about a radioactive cookie-selling Girl Scout zombie serial killer. And soon after, Sanders was taken off the project and he left to go work at DreamWorks. And Lassiter said, Sanders is talented, but he couldn't take it to the place it had to be. Chris Sanders helped make How to Train Your Dragon movies. <laughs> so, okay. Um, Williams and Howard were brought on and they shifted a lot around. The animation team was given 18 months instead of four years. Um, the looks were inspired by Edward Hopper and Vilmus Sigmund. And then Bolt himself is a, a mixed breed, but with a huge emphasis on an American White Shepherd. The film had a $150 million budget, made $310 million at the box office, has a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes, which I didn't know any of this. A pleasant animated comedy that overcomes the story's familiarity with strong visuals and likable characters. Had a video game release. It was nominated for Best Animated Feature, but lost to Wally, -E, which, sure. This was gorgeous. I, I thought, it was gonna look a little worse than it did. It was stunning, beautiful, especially the lighting, and especially the lighting in the scene where Rhino gets out of his ball for the first time to save Bolt from like the animal control people. That The lighting in that scene had no right. It was so good. <laughs> the opening is sick, okay? Not the part where she like gets him at the store or whatever. The opening where you think like you don't realize they're on a TV show yet. <laughs> Like the whole action, like with the five years later and the music and the <laughs> her dad, like oh my, and I, I genetically altered it. That entire sequence was amazing. I was obsessed. I thought that was the movie. I forgot that the movie was like it was the dog is an actor. So I thought that was the movie, and I was jazz. I was like, this is the greatest opening. I'm so excited. The music was so sick, and then obviously you find out it's a TV show or whatever, and it kind of comes down from there. And I was like, nothing will give me the high that that opening gave me for the rest of this movie. And then um, it felt a bit draggy in the middle, but otherwise this is very well edited. I'm, I'm pleased with it. The opening music was so good. I just really love the opening, but the music really set the stage for that opening. And then the score does continue to be very good throughout. I mean, it's John Powell. He's not gonna do bad work, you know? So it was a great score throughout. And then um, the credits has a song that John Travolta and Miley Cyrus sing. So that was like really exciting to me. I didn't think they'd sing together and then they did. At least I thought it was John Travolta and Miley Cyrus. It sounds like that. I was so ready for this movie to be about a superhero dog. With that opening, I was like, sign me up for the rest of this movie. It looks like it's gonna be sick. And then it wasn't a superhero dog. It was a normal dog on a TV show, which was kind of a letdown. I was so hype after that opening, but the movie is good. The plot is, it makes sense. It's fun. Um, I was a little disappointed. So a good chunk of this movie, you don't hear Bolt speak in the be at the beginning. And then finally, a bit of the way in, you finally hear Bolt speak. And... I'm not gonna lie, I kind of was vibing with him not being able to speak and like the movie focusing on him and what he's going through without being able to talk. I thought that would have been a really interesting take, 
But I came around. Like, once he was speaking and going through his adventure and journey, I came around to them, like, speaking and everything like that. But this was fun. I don't think it's up to, like, you know... Frozen, Inside Out, you know, that little mermaid, Aladdin. I don't think it's up to that level, but this is definitely bringing them out of the lull they had been in with Chicken Little and, like, those movies. I mean, Meet the Robinsons was also good, but I still feel like it was, like, kind of struggling to find their new feet. This, I think, is another stepping stone, and I'm pretty sure the next animated movie after this is Princess and the Frog, so... So I feel like this was them finding their feet again in like good animated movie after the Pixar merger and everything. Although last year was a total to Chris Sanders. But I do think this is it finding its feet. I had no idea this movie did this well. I had never seen this movie. And I remember when it came out, me kind of being like, oh, it doesn't look that good. Like, I'm not interested. I don't think I'm going to go see it. Because I didn't see, like, I hadn't seen Meet the Robinsons. I hadn't seen Chicken Little. So I think it was, I was like, it doesn't look that good. I don't think I'm going to see it. Um, but the 90% on Rotten Tomatoes shook me to my core. I was not expecting that. I don't know if I'd give them 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> Favorite part? Probably Bolt saving Penny for real at the end. I thought that was so good. Such an excellent, just, ugh how much they actually care about each other and everything. Least favorite part? I don't know, probably somewhere in the middle that dragged a bit. I don't I don't have a part that I'm like, oh yeah, that was the worst. I mean, I hate her agent, but that's just like, it's not like because he's, it's so bad. You know what I mean? Recommend? Totally. Would I watch it again? Yeah, I had, so I would watch that opening over and over again. <laughs> that opening is so good. Um, specific moments, I'll have to go with the scene between Mittens and Bolt, um, where she kind of finally reveals what happened to her. And then when she like comes around and comes to find him and it's like, no, she does care about you specifically. <clears throat> All of Rhino. Rhino's hysterical. I didn't expect to like him as much as I did when he showed up. I do feel a little bit like he ends up with that family. And I'm like, does that woman miss her hamster? <laughs> like, they don't say anything about the fact that he totally left his home. So, you know, whatever. And then uh, him saving another fire. Um, I already talked about the opening. I was, I already talked about that. Her agent was trash. Oh my God, what a piece of crap. I'm so glad the mom was like, we quit. We're out of here. Bye. And then um, the cat's name is Mittens in this movie. Snow Buddies, Whoopi Goldberg cat, Mittens. So I think it's funny that uh, two movies in a row had a cat named Mittens. I think that's very interesting. And then um, there's a throwaway line by an animal control person that took me out. <laughs> And it's, I forget what the other dude's name is, but she's at the desk and she, like, let's just say his name is Lloyd. And she's like, Lloyd, if you're trying to scare me, so help me, I'll pepper spray you again. And she gets up. Pepper spray you again. <laughs> Why did she pepper spray him before? Oh my God, it took me out. I dwelled on it for like half the movie. I thought it was so funny. <laughs> I was like, what? I want to know that backstory. <laughs> Why is she pepper spraying her coworker? <laughs> so good. So good. I had a great time. I thought this was very fun. Um, I like, I still can't decide if I feel like John Travolta sounded too old to be Bolt. I feel like Bolt maybe should have been a similar age sound to Penny. Um, but John Travolta, you know, is a full-fledged adult. He sounds like an adult. So Bolt sounded like an adult. And I thought that was weird. And I wasn't sure if that's where I wanted to be. Um, but over, like, it's a minuscule feelings that I would, like, 100% was still able to enjoy the movie. That's everything I have for Bolt. My final rating is 7 bolts out of 10. Lightning bolts out of 10. Not, like, Bolt, Bolt. Lightning bolt. <laughs> Our total movie account is... Parent, Death, Total, and Cry Count are still the same. If you want to keep up with the movie and watch you win, follow me on all socials. Join Patreon. You got a tier starting at just $1. You get every video a week early. Coupon code for merch. Access to exclusive merch. Right now during September, which is coming to an end, it was all video trivia. So for the love of God, join the $5 tier and participate in the video trivia because it took me forever to gather. Okay? Buy merch. Merch is great. Merch is grand. The absolute OG on right now. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe. I'm not in charge of your life. You are, so do you. And don't be... I mean, in Bolt Universe, the green-eyed man. <laughs> in the real world, her agent. That's fun. Oh, this is 10 too.